unbelievable what Boris' presence in court cost Namdi Kanu yesterday. We amuse you. Hmm. I greet you, my dear listeners in the house. Um, this is uh, the month, we are now in the month of September, uh, the 14th day, the 14th day of September. Um, the people of September, we are using this medium to greet you and to congratulate you for your many celebrations. It's been a pleasure anyway, and um, it's marvelous in our sight. Okay? So, whatever it is, we want to still congratulate you. Um, still want to appreciate everyone that has been in one way contributing to our uh, broadcast. It's been wonderful. It, you've been wonderful. Thank you so much. The issue of Mazen Namdekano is uh, has, has been an issue to everyone, to everyone, and also a very big concern. You agree with me when I say that Namdekano is winning uh, more crowd by the day, as new evidence keeps surfacing. It was a shock yesterday during the hearing as um, the presence of Mr. President in court, in court actually um, favored the IPOP leader. It was a surprise. It, that that Nam the Kano was um, uh, that the federal government dropped one count charge for Nam the Kano yesterday was courtesy of Mr. President. Uh, it's a victory. It's a victory and it calls for celebration too. All right, uh, without time wasting, let's quickly check on the content, my dear listeners. This is morning news. The case between the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Mazi Namdekano, and the federal government of Nigeria has lasted for about five years now. Since 2018 till now, Kano has been charged with treasonable felony. Federal government said that Kano between 2018 and 2021 made a broadcast received and heard in Nigeria with the intent to incite violence in fortress or an act of terrorism against Nigeria and its people and directed members of the public to burn down every federal facilities in Lagos, resulting in major economic loss in the country. However, appearing in court today, federal government through its lawyer, Mr. David Casway, told court that the federal government spent huge resources to get Namdi Kano back to the country. He maintained that the IPOP leader was brought back to the country by due process of the law, contrary to postulations in some quarters. His words, my lord, it took four years and huge resources to get the respondent arrested and brought back to face the charges against him. The prosecution is even willing and eager to proceed with trial of the appellants. We are saying that the trial court was even wrong to have struck out the eight counts as it did. It is only after the federal government has produced all its witnesses and tendered its evidence that the appellants could claim that no prima facie case was established. To the humble surprise of everyone yesterday, the IPOP leader witnessed the presence of Mr. President, which got him favored. <laughs> uh, yeah, my listeners, that is one thing the Nigerian government 
have failed to know. You see, that's why I I I really respect the white. Any little penny spent, you must give an account of it, and they make sure that they spend it judiciously. Now tell me, the money they spent in getting now the canoe extradited, and the money that they are spending each day to bring Nam the canoe to court. Is it not enough for the federal government to use that money and settle our, our debts? We are owing the Chinese over five hundred million dollars. We've not been able to pay a penny. Yes, of course. Rotimi Amici exposed everything, and the Chinese themselves too exposed it. They when um, we tried um, going to them for another loan. They refused us, so Bari have to switch to another way, another, another, another means to get the loan. You see that? So it's crazy, my dear listeners. So, um, yeah, okay, despite the spending of the money and all of that, are they um, succeeding? Instead, the IPOP leader is winning. He's winning. Of course, yes. He's the one on top. The federal government is losing. We are losing. So at the end of the day, the federal government will still be called to to pay him compensation. So who are, who is who who end up be, being in the at the loss at the at, at the losing at, at, at the losing side? It's the federal government. So what's it? So my dear people, I know it sounds like a shock to many of you, but. That is what should happen. Should understand now. So let's hear you. Let's hear you. Let's hear you. Let's know what your own take and what your own opinion on this that has just been revealed. Maybe don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you